Hey YouTubers, it's Sweet Susie coming out yeah with a video. Um, I had recently uh, posted a video clip or an announcement that I was going to be coming soon. Um, I wanted to come at you with a small book haul that I've kindly collected over the summer. Um, some reading material that maybe you might find yourself interested in. Um, as y'all know, um, I'm a follower of Bridget. Um, she's my matron goddess. And um, I've gotten a few books from Amazon and a few books from Thrift. And I'll let you know which is which. So um, let's get started. So I came across this one. Um, it's Bridget, A History, Mystery, and Magic of the Celtic Goddess um, by Courtney Weber. Um, very informational. Uh, it speaks of the history of Bridget. Um, there are some rituals and spells in this book that um, if you know anything about Bridget, you know that she's another one of those goddesses. It's really hard to find a whole lot um, about her online um, because most of it deals with uh, St. Bridget um, because she was one of the ones that was taken from being a goddess to being a saint by the Catholic religion um, which I'm not going to get into too much because um, you know I'm, I'm new uh, to uh, you know, learning about her, I'm not going to be one of those who claim she knows everything. Um, just a little, it's just like a little bit of a review or a little snippet of what I know. Um, but it's a really good book. Um, <clears throat> it, it goes into some spells, some money magic, sachets. You know, amulets, stuff like that. So if you're a follower of Bridget, you might like that. Um, there's a couple I haven't read yet because, um, as y'all know, I started working again. So I'm working outside the home trying to find a balance between, you know, the mundane life and the magical life. And I'm also a tarot lover, so it's um, been really hard um, trying to balance all um I've kind of put the tarot on the back burner um, for now and have delved more into the witchy part of my path, which, you know, it's okay. I, it's, it's like all about right now for me trying to find a balance, you know, because you're forever going to be a student no matter what it is you're, you're trying to le learn more about. So, um, the next book I have not read, I've only been able to glimpse through. It's called A Witch Alone, The Essential Guide for the Solar Practitioner of the Magical Arts. And um, it's those who um, are not part of a coven. You're more of a solitary uh, witch. Then this could be for you. Um, I picked this one up after seeing Adrian Riverwolf, who's moved from the YouTube community to Facebook. Um, if you would like to um, follow him, you can find him on Facebook. Um, it's under a like page, uh, Adrian Riverwolf. A uh, guy, he's amazing. I mean, he's one of my favorite YouTube um, channels here. Uh, I, I learned a great deal from him. Um, he's very knowledgeable in his path. But I see some of the crafts that he did. Um, from using this book, so I picked this book up upon his, um, what would you call it, his reference. Um, and I picked this up from Thrift Books, Thrift Books, Amazon. Um, I picked up another book on Bridget. I really wasn't too thrilled about this one. 
Um, it doesn't, it's more of a basic introduction to her. Um, and it tells you about her different appearances in mythology and from going from pagan goddess to Catholic saint. Um, really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So, and then as you know, my patron god is Odin. And this was a little bit about him. I have not got to read this one yet. Um, I'm in the middle of reading this one though. Um, this one is really, really meaty like the first one. But this one's tended in Bridget's front flame, awakened to the Celtic goddess of Earth, or Hearth, Temple and Forge by Luna Weatherstone, I believe. So there's that one. Um, I'm not um, a daughter of the Morgan, but this book really caught my eye. And Amazon was having a deal on books that day, and I had to get it. But it's the Celtic lore and spellcraft of the Dark Goddess invoking the Morrigan. And this is chock full of um, rituals, spells, incant incantations, I think is what it's called. Um, and, um, just a lot of, all kinds of stuff, you know, incense, um, Morgan Le Fay shield, nine Morgans invocation, uh, magical tool blessings, um, divination, symbols of the great queen, I mean, uh, the hidden mothers learning to connect to the earth. And um, redefining the mother and just all kinds of stuff about the Morgan. But I just thought it would be really cool. And last but not least, and I did get that from Amazon. Um, and this one, I can't remember if I got from Thrift or Amazon, but one of the two. And then I got an oldie but a goodie. Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft. Now, I haven't delved, again, I haven't delved too deep into it, you know, um, because I've just been so busy with home life and work life and um, trying to find the, the balance, but I wanted to let y'all know that I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Um, <clears throat> so, um, there's that. I hope you enjoyed that little bitty bit of a haul um the more you know when i finally get through them i will probably do a full-on review i'm gonna try not to promise too much because it's really hard right now um my babe is getting ready to go into the hospital and have surgery next week so um that, that's really going to be my primary focus is him and the kids and um, in between, you know, all that work in and, but um, if I get a spare moment, I'll probably make some more videos. I know I've got two more to do after this because I have a tarot tag I wanted to do, which I didn't bring my paper out here to do it. And I have two of my, um, two of my favorite people in the world who are going to do a little bit of a, um, crystal haul, um, because we, uh, went to a couple of places that's near where I live here in Indiana, and we picked up quite a few uh, crystals from for them and for me, and so I I thought that what might be fun to have uh, my two little special guests. But um, other than that, I hope y'all are doing well. And until next time, much love and many blessings.
Take care.